All right, the Detroit Lions find a defensive end, and this defensive end is big, he's athletic, and he got caught up in injuries and COVID and put together his last two years really productive, comes out of the MAC. Well, he started at Syracuse, then goes to the MAC, love the MAC. Akron. And so let's talk about Zach Morton. He was a Cast Tech graduate. So it's from the area. Pretty cool. Get an opportunity, just to get an opportunity, right? To go back to the Lions or go back to Detroit and have a chance for the Lions. So if you look at it here, Cast Tech goes to Syracuse. Defensive, he's a reserve defensive lineman. He appeared in just six games and then he lost 2018 to a knee injury after redshirting 2017. Stuck on the bench in 19 and 20, right? So it's just kind of nothing's really happening for him. And then 2021, started all 12 games. And then Akron had a coaching change in 2022. He was more in a rotational, but still picked up six and a half more tackles for loss and three more sacks than the pre previous year. So I think he had like four and a half, five sacks last year. So here's the thing about him. He's a big dude. He's six foot four, 261 pounds, has a blazing quick first step. So what you're looking for in an undrafted free agent, especially a defensive end, got to have the athletic ability, athletic traits, right? Otherwise, like, well, what are we doing to, to just pick you up in, in the uh, undrafted free agency, right, to give you an opportunity? So he's got that 6'4", 260, super quick with his 10-yard dash, 1.59, <laughs> is in his 20-yard numbers is 2.6. This is really good. So he's hitting over a 9.5 in his RAS score. So the RAS score, if you're not familiar with that, it's really been a popular thing lately. It it takes all – it's like a composite of all your measurables, and the best possible score you can get is a perfect 10. He's at a 9.5. So what are you looking for this guy? You're looking to say, hey, look, maybe he got a head injury. He's got caught up in COVID, coaching changes, transfers, which, by the way, as you look at all these guys who've been drafting and different things, a lot of guys transferred. I mean, Jameer Gibbs transferred from Georgia Tech. And that's another thing about, I don't want this to be a Jameer Gibbs video, but Jameer Gibbs was the man at Georgia Tech. Nobody could touch him. Nobody could touch him. Then he goes to Alabama. They got so many weapons. Yeah, he gets the ball, plays and stuff. But, I mean, he, he would have been a feature, feature back, incredible back on any other team. Anyway, everybody's transferring. It's fine, whatever. But my point is, by the time you – it's hard to kind of keep track. You know, it used to be you went three, four years straight up at the same school. You didn't play your freshman year. You played sophomore. Junior year, you thrived. Senior year, you're out of control. Now it's like this guy transferred, COVID mixed in there, injury. That's what this guy is. He's got all the raw ability, but just because, you know, hey, look, things have happened, you don't know. You just don't know. And, I mean, come on. Is he going to make the team? I don't even know, right? It's a long way away, obviously. But what you're trying to do and what we wanted to point out here in this video is that you've got a guy with a Raz score that's incredible. He's 6'4". Maybe there's something there. And it's just fun because we did see the Lions pick up James Houston in the sixth round. This is essentially a seventh round pick, right? You call that where anyone could have taken him in the seventh round just to take a flyer on him. We take him as an undrafted free agent. So you have to just keep an eye on that. Thankfully for Morton, Detroit has a great reputation for de developing such prod products in recent years. Charles Harris, James Houston, John Kaminsky, Isaiah Bugs, all these guys that we've brought in as defensive linemen, give you a try. What can you do? Let's, let's take it. And boom, we've turned a lot of these guys into something. Now you can say the same thing about the Aquara brothers though. The Quora brothers just have not done anything. So they're still around. So it's like we've got a lot of defensive line edge rushers right now. I'm just not sure what's going on. And right here, he'd likely have to beat out Julian or Romeo or Quora to fill that role in the 53-man roster. He's advanced in age. He's 24. So he has to he has to go like right away and really pop off the off the field in practice to, to get some get some love because he's got a long way to go. We got a lot of they got a lot of edge rushers. I mean, geez. I don't know what – it's good. It's good. And we don't have anyone well, – we have Hutch, we have Houston. But I'm saying we don't have like – there's not like a bunch of elite pass rushers. We just have a lot of bodies right now. So Charles Harris is, of course, back. Um, John Kaminsky. I mean, it's just – it's a good thing to have. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Akron Zips, Max School, love it. From Cast Tech, coming home. Give this guy a shot. What the heck. That I love the undrafted free agents. I just – I just do because in the sixth and seventh round, everybody's kind of taking flyers or whatever. Any of these guys could have gone seventh rounds. So we could have, he could have been drafted instead. 
Of course, he's not. So you pick him up afterwards. And this is a guy that got guaranteed money. Now, what that means is there's a few free agents where you really want undrafted free agents that you really want. So you give them you give them some. You know, he, I think, got sixty thousand dollars. So it's like a guarantee. Come to the Lions. We're going to give you sixty thousand because we we really want you. We really want to give you a chance. Where other teams are like, hey, no guaranteed money, but you you got a better chance. Maybe the 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 defensive end room's a little thinner, so maybe you would choose that. But in this case, he's like, yeah, well, sweet. I'll take sixty k. Get to go home uh, in Detroit. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one, and we'll see all of you on the next one.